Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully updated a specific one ID data for our about, right? Now I want to do, I want to get this data, I want to visible it in our home page, into this home page, that part I want to update. So now let's do that work for right now, everything I have already added in our index page. Now go to our index, that means in our resources view right that is the resource view right now we have to work in our font int into the font int if you go to our index plate into the index plate you can see that is also as a about area so now that is one of the section is that is the section is started so right now that is one of the section for the about you can see it's ended in here better i want to do i want to create another page for this like in our home all into this home all i want to create another new page now click as a save as i name it as a home about okay home underscore about dot blade dot php and now that will be the same procedure i want to use and uh, that means here i want to include it then that will be actually segment very nicely i simply cut our section and in our about i simply paste it okay now we have to do we have to also include it i copy it and you can see they have some of the comment out as about is started and about ended now in our font in in our home all folder i have created a new file new file name as a home underscore about so now i name it as a home underscore about so that will be as a about now everything will be just like that same because here i have already included it and now in our home about here our process will be just like that same before that i have already done in our home slide you can see that will be the same process better i copy it because here i also want to do and to take our first index data so now i simply close it and here i want to do and to take it i paste it okay so now that is a php block i name it as a home about okay that will be the home about and now our model is become changed if you go to our add about controller before i have already get it you can see that will be actually this one so now i better copy it and now I want to do and to access it in here. Okay, I simply paste it. So now if you want to access our about model, we have to access it app and then the models and then our about, I want to find our one ID data. Okay, right now we don't need this. Right now all that our specific one ID data, I have already taken it in our about page. So now with our about page, I want to do and to visible it. Okay, I want to visible it right now. First of all, I want to find out that is our about me okay that is our about me and then that is our description that is our title so now i want to do and to update it so then that will be our name with our about okay with our about page i want to access our field name our field name if you go to database now go to that structure our field name as a title right so then that will be display our title and there have some of the icon i want to use that icon that will be static which is totally fine so right now that is in our asset and then our font in right that is our font in folder and then our asset image icon i want to visible so i simply cut it then i paste it perfect and after that that will be our another one that will be our short description that means if you want to access it now we have to access it by this i want to paste it so that our field name as a short title how much easy you can see then now that will be as a short title right now that should be as a dynamic and also there is our another one i simply better copy it and then i want to do an update that will be our which part that will be our short description i copy it now that should be as a short description perfect now friend let's check this out now our that's the part this part will be totally dynamic like the save all and if you now go and now if you refresh it yes you can see it's now successfully updated and you can see that is actually the, the aesthetic icon i have already updated that aesthetic icon now our title is visible our short title is visible our short description is also visible you can see now that is the, our total dynamic part if you want to check it go to our back end like here i make it as a 20 not the 20 i make it as a 25 now I want to update, click as update. Now that should be updated. You can see it's updated as a 25 and also that should be updated. Now click as a refresh. Yeah, you can see it's now successfully updated. I hope friend, it's very much clear to you. So right now our 
everything our title the short title and short description is totally dynamic all the data now is comes from our database and you can also manage all the data from your backend right and also right now there is another one as a long description and the images so here if you want to display it i want to do i want to add another link in our about okay i want to load another about page so how can do this work better i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video